Hi everybody, welcome to day 20 from the inside out. And holy macaronis, we are halfway through our challenge and I really hope that these segments have really had an impact on your life. Today's statement is, I just can't hold it all together. This thought can be paralyzing. It gets you thinking about how hard things are, how many things depend on you, and the possibility of everything falling apart. How many of us think this way about our jobs, daily responsibilities, or our emotions. How about our families, kids, and all the activities, school, sports, and extracurricular stuff? <clears throat> Excuse me. Thoughts feed expectations. Expectations feed into manifestations. Manifestations become imprinted in our minds forming our habits and character, which is our consistent patterns of behavior. This is why it is vital to fast from wrong thinking and replace wrong thoughts with right ones. Let's do it. Change it today. Make a decision. Let's go back to Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through him, Christ, which strengthens me. The way to turn this thought into a reality is through the decision to believe it. Decision is the doorway into reality. We take a wrong thought captive by bullying it with the right thought. Make this new thought press against the wrong one until there's no room in your head for the wrong one. Realize you are not alone. You are not in this by yourself. Fill your mind with the thought, with this thought from Hebrews 13.5, where God said he would never desert you nor forsake you combat the thought of I can't hold it together with I'm not doing this by myself. God is with me and he will never leave me alone. Whether you are a single parent or a single person, God is in this with you, married or divorced. Whether you are struggling financially or the wealthiest person alive, he is with you in your struggle and daily responsibilities. God holds together the things we turn over to Him. 2 Timothy 1.12 says, I am persuaded that He is able to keep, hold together, that which I have committed unto Him. King James Version, You see, whatever we commit to Him, He will keep guard and hold together for us. If there is an area of your life which seems like it's falling apart, commit it to Him, and He will get involved. Fill your mind with this thought. The Lord will accomplish that which concerns me. Psalm 138.8 says, He will accomplish complete and perfect everything concerning you. He will get involved with the things that concern you and will add His grace to your situation. God upholds the universe with His Word. If His Word can keep the whole universe together, then it can definitely hold your stuff together. Make God's Word the base and foundation of everything you think every decision you make and everything you do. Think it and say it. Even when I feel I can't keep it all together, I declare that I can do all things through Christ. He gives me the strength I need when I don't have enough. 
I decide to believe in his strength. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I am not alone because he will never leave me nor forsake me. I am a victor and not a victim. I have committed my life, my body, my family, and my money to God. Therefore, He will hold together the things I have committed to Him. He is, even now, involved with and accomplishing those things which concern or trouble me. His word upholds the universe. Therefore, I will think, believe, and speak His word throughout my day. It is more than enough to hold my world together. And the power thought for today is, My new thought life is reshaping my entire life. I am changing daily from the inside out. Thank you everybody for listening and I'll look forward to seeing you again for day 21 and have a blessed day.